G'day, Steve Morgan here from Australian Bass Tournaments at the most exciting event of the year. This is the 2018 Costa Brim Series Grand Final and we are currently in front of the Bass Cat Margay we're giving away in front of the Marlow Angling Club in Marlow, Victoria and this is the home of the Big Brim. The Costa Brim Series, well, Costa make sunglasses and they make great ones that fishermen are going to love, but I'm not going to wear that during the interview and you're going to take yours off as well too, Simo. I've got Craig Simmons here from Bass Cat Boats and he's been instrumental in putting together this package, which is a Bass Cat Margay, a Mercury four-stroke, three-litre, 150 horsepower motor. There's a Motor Guide X5 cable drive electric on the front. There are two Garmin sounders in it. It's got batteries. It is dead set, ready to fish. And Simo, this is a cracking prize for a great event, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice to be able to give them away each year, mate. We've seen a couple of other guys previously that are, are still running them now. Um, it's really nice to see the guys that have won them, that have kept using them over the last couple of years as well. Well, let's have a look at the history. Last year we gave it away on the Bass side. Brian Everingham won his Margay, and I see that running around on the Bass Tour. The year before it was Grant Kime in St George's Basin. He won it with a great 115 Pro XS on the end, and he's still running that thing as well. So it must give the sponsors great satisfaction to see them out there and really enjoying themselves in the, in the product. Yeah, and it's just proving that um, the guys who have moved on after that have gone and bought another basket. So we've just had a resale of, of one previously as well, which was a prize boat. So um, they're, they're sticking with the brand, which is nice, and um, the brands keep supporting them as well. And while we're a uh, big shout out to Kevin and Rick over in America for helping us with this boat, they make it all happen for us, and it's uh, fantastic. AB at Mercury, you guys are all fantastic. These guys here really appreciate fishing for the prize. Now let's talk about the event itself. It's over three different venues in East Gippsland. Uh, tomorrow on the Friday we're going to be fishing Gippsland Lakes. Massive system with some massive brim in it but there's a lot of water between them. If you shank it at Gippsland Lakes it's sort of you can recover because after that we're going to go to the Bem River which is around 45 minutes drive to the east of us here. Plenty of brim in the Bem, potentials for five kilo plus bags as well. But the really cool thing is on Sunday we're fishing here at Marlow and Marlow at the mouth of the Snowy River is the home of some of the biggest brim in Australia. There are definitely brim over two kilo swimming out there which is a theoretical bag of 10 kilos as possible we see in club events here six seven kilo limits they're fairly common actually so uh, someone can really come from behind and win this sixty thousand dollar prize now the format this weekend it's boater non boater but the two anglers together are fishing for a shared bag of fish so they're fishing together as a team for their best five fish and they do that each day so each boater like Simo and myself will have a different non boater each day sharing the knowledge sharing the love and catching five big brim now we're going to be covering all of this on abt.org.au this weekend there's going to be some cracking live streams going the weigh-in coverage is going to be great if you don't like our page on Facebook and you're somehow watching it and you haven't liked it you're crazy go and tick like now but uh, put this in your browser www.abt.org.au now what we're going to do now is we're going to talk to some of the favourites some of the locals and some of the guys that think they have the chance of winning this $60,000 boat But this rain has yeah, slowed things down a bit. I thought you would have needed about 13 kilos, but after fishing today, I think if you've got 12, you'll be well and truly in the top 10. I reckon one of the locals is going to do pretty well. I, I, we'll average out four and a half a day. Yeah, I reckon it's going to take that. Just the local guys will know where they are to do that. Yep. I reckon you'll need 12 kilos. Based on my lack of pre-fish, but hearing what the boys that did come and pre-practice, um, some of the fish the systems are fishing tough um, and they're shifting um, almost week to week guys would go and pre-fish one weekend and there's something going on they go back the next weekend and it's all changed um, based on the little bit i did today i think somewhere 13 13 and a half kilos will probably get the job done the way it's fishing it's going to be a little bit lower than like if it was going real well you'd be talking 15 kilos but 12 just a rough idea Kymie, you won one of these margays a couple of years ago. You've been burning around at it, having a great time all over Australia. What have you got to say for the person that's going to take this home, noting that it may be you? Oh, mate, the, the awesome boat, you know, like, it's great fun. Um, and this one's got a bigger motor on it than mine, so I'm hoping to get it. There you go, you, you want to collect a whole set of margays? No, oh, well, just one with a bigger motor would be good. There you go. <laughs> I think... I think you're going to have to be fairly versatile. It's three fairly different venues, so you're going to need multiple um, multiple lures and multiple applications to, to really nut it out. 
in saying that the guys that like throwing one thing, if they find the right bite at each venue, you can win it on one lure. So I think um, those that are comfortable chopping and changing like me, if you find the right thing to do that, yeah, you'll do it right. Uh, it's going to come from Marlow. Yep, there'll be a couple of bags here over six kilos or around the six kilo mark. There'll probably be a lot of guys struggle, but there'll be three or four guys that pull up at the right spot. It is a venue that'll change really quickly, um, but if you pull up on the right spot at the right time, you'll be on. Uh, I think BEM is a lot shallower than these two systems, so it's just a different technique. Yeah, a more hard body. You can you can fish plastic. You can do anything at any one, but I think um, they won't all fish the same. I think um, maybe for two systems you'll be able to do a similar pattern, but um, I think for, for one system it'll be different. Yeah. I reckon you're really going to have to be uh, across plastics and hard bodies, to be honest. I think it's just there's going to be certain elements of fish in different places doing different things, and um, some are active, some are not so active. So, yeah, that's probably going to be a bit of a key, knowing when to use what. What a prize for a brim tournament in Australia. It's like 65 grand's worth of boat, motor, trailer package, electric. Uh, I'm running the exact same rig bar the, the engines are pro on mine. Um, crack of a little boat. It's a great little thing. I've stepped down from a 20 footer to this thing as a sort of in-between boat um, and I'd be quite happy running it for as long as I needed to. Yeah, no, I won Malakuda, which was good. Unfortunately, we're not fishing there um, over these three days, but uh, I really like all these three systems, and it would just be great to um, do well. And uh, it's a fantastic prize at the end of it, which uh, my wife would really uh, enjoy part of. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's what some of the favourites and some of the locals think. You're going to need to win this weekend both weight-wise and technique-wise. We're going to finish off now with Cam Whittam. Cam, you're the man who this year has won on one of these three venues. You won at Gippsland earlier in the year. How do you think the venues are going to fish and what weights and techniques you think are going to come out on top? Uh, I really think it's going to be different techniques at each venue. Um, well, that's what I'll be doing anyway. I'm not 100% sure it's going to work. Um, I think weights, I had, I have, have had a pre-fish and Gippy fish, they, they all fish fairly hard, but if you're doing the right thing, you seem to catch reasonable fish. We've had a lot of rain in the area, so look, even today probably wasn't as good as uh, what it was a couple of weeks ago. But here I've struggled at Marlow every time I've been here, so who knows, I don't know what the weight will be. If someone weighs 14, that, that ought to do it. There you go. So uh, from one of the best in the business, that's what he thinks is going to happen. Make sure you go to abt.org.au, put it as a bookmark in your browser, like this Facebook page, and we look forward to bringing you some fantastic coverage this weekend.